Hello and welcome right back again. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing good. <laughs> Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera has decided to touch your anointed. His name is Prophet Hubert Angel. At some point, I'm going to call him Prophet. At some point, I'm going to call him Prophet. But I guess you have seen the Prophet right now. When we talked about his um, opening case, as I got to discover him, <laughs> I think that was actually the first time I got to really talk about him as an expose, him coming to Nigeria and doing the whole fake miracle money he did, of course, with his brother, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Let me take you guys back um, down memory lane because some time ago, he was under fire as well from his country where he was spoken about and there was some things going on then that his brother came out and spoke out for him. This is for you prophets and gifts of God. The prophets are not on the gym. When we speak over nations, we speak over countries, it's and gifts. And Any and country that fights prophets, to pay the to the prophets. They don't they don't I was talking to some people a couple of days ago. But There's a nation called Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. And there are some prophets. prophets. One of them was a prophet for you, but angel who is close to me that nation will regret if they don't look for that prophet to beg him i've never spoken like this about any prophet that, prophet, that nation zimbabwe will regret if they don't look for that prophet to beg him any nation where prophets rise up and you start fighting them look for this look at that prophets are not your they are not i'm talking of genuine prophets not fake for one night, genuine prophets. You start looking for stories and looking for things to fight them. That nation will sink. That nation will not advance. Tell you, the devil wants to destroy. The devil wants to destroy you. The message is not speaking against prophets. Apostle Johnson Suleiman and said that a nation that gets to speak against a prophet, that that nation is doomed. Or say something around that particular respect in this video. So he was actually publicly defending the person of his brother. Now, this is something that happens, of course, in ministry where pastors use their pulpit to just oppose, counterpose, restapose, and you can add other English in the comment section as to how to defend their brothers on pulpit or in faith. So, exposing him or him coming to Nigeria and doing the charade of a miracle money he did wasn't that much of something difficult to do or at least some of you that have sense you are here and you watch the video and of course i don't want to repeat about the whole credit score thing he did even in, in his own church but getting to understand his presence over time and what we have done right here on the platform you don't need anyone to tell you the kind of man he is and of course he himself posted a video recently on his channel this video we are open for business where he talks about the whole mafia thing and someone is gonna say in the comments oh he he saw it coming he prophesied it he did hey keep quiet okay relax let me teach you people some things if you watch the part one of a documentary towards the end of that particular documentary you see what was written there that all the people that have been mentioned in the video had been contacted about the exposition which as at when the recordings were done they were not aware even he himself prophet the one that sees the unknown the one that is able to predict football matches and decide who is supposed to win ha! yeah so if you look at this right now it begins to make sense that Now, some of you are going to say in the comments, many of you have sent me these videos of, of Warren Osai and still giving the whole comment that the prophecy of Warren Osai is coming to pass, the cartels are falling. <laughs> this is not the first time Hubert Angel is being caught up in conversations about fraud and all that. Do a simple Google search. It's not the first time. So, I think that <laughs> just like most of his followers' brain are fried, uh, if you think I'm joking, let me use his voice for this one because those you will see defending this particular news right now, which I'm going to be peeling like an onion, uh, for me to define you is not going to be enough. So let your father define you, who are his followers right now. Listen to him. They have a certain level now because their conscience is now fried. Their brains are now fried. They can no longer think correctly. 
they have a certain way of thinking. It has gone beyond their level. I remove such people from your life. Very good. So those of you that your brains are fried already, you can never think straight. You understand? And maybe let him get to also explain and define himself. So the church is full of people, preachers who are preaching a lie in hypocrisy. Oh. Having, first moment, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. What means is when you take a brain of a person and you put it here and you iron it, you have departed from the faith. You have allowed seducing spirits. You are listening to doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. You are speaking a lie in hypocrisy. And when you have done all these things, now your conscience is fried. Uh -huh. So I, I believe you understand that. So at this point, you know where we are. Now looking at something that happened in the video, just one part. Because this one, I have to take my time to discuss some things. Prophet Hubert Angel. First, I made a comment before saying that. You see, as Christians, we are ambassadors of God. We are ambassadors of Christ. Yes or no? Okay, good. So, aside being Christians in church, where we go then, I'm not trying to make fun of uh, praying in tongues, even though we have discussed that before. I think it should transcend to who we are on the outside. Now, being real George right here, some of you see me dressing like this and you say, oh, George, you're an apostle. You're a man of God. No, this is actually an Asian normal kind of dressing. Here in Asia, where I am, I'm surprised that I get to see this dressing in Nigeria. And since it's mostly pastors or apostles that get to wear it, or whatever, who, those who are in ministry, is seen as a pastor's regalia. No. Please, my dear wonderful viewers, this is a dressing. So because you people like this, maybe you might change some colors and keep this as our modus operandi. But of course, mm, I miss my military dress. Looking at him, he made a comment in the video where, looking at the person that was just next to him there, is, do you guys know that white guy? This is the same person that holds mic for him and does the whole thing in church with him. Just like the pastor that said, ah, I walk with this. Ever since I started walking with the spirit of Hubert Angel, the spirit of Jesus did not work for me. Now you know the spirit of Hubert Angel they talk about because by associating with him and being part of the whole thing that goes on around him, that is how they get to maybe end their living and make some dough. So, of course, I will not expect that pastors in the ministry or even followers who are watching me right now would accept the truth for what it is of who their father and the Lord is. A diplomatic mafia. Even he himself defined himself when he was, uh, when he posted this video where he said that his job is to sell his country. And of course, that is what the president of Zimbabwe, how are you doing, president? The man that took over from Mugabe and said that yes indeed a new democracy has come to Zimbabwe only for your diplomatic mafia Prophet Prophet Hubert Angel said that you are going to rule till you die is that democracy? and now your own ambassador at large you know at large even though he's being defined to be like According to who, how Hubert Angel defined himself in the documentary, someone second to the president that can also act in capacity of him, that can sign things and it gets to pass because he is the ambassador. <laughs> and the way they get to introduce him and even how his brother introduced him in Nigeria as not just a prophet but an ambassador. And he always prides himself in that. Ambassador of an, an ambassador of a country where of course they say you are supposed to be selling only for me to see that you even get to pimp the president that he had to cast a two hundred thousand dollars for those who pose themselves as fraudulent people or money cleaners to meet with the president you have to even call him aside hey 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 you know what i can get you to meet the president but this is what it's gonna cost you I would say the same way you would want to sell access to the president because of your diplomatic office at large. You know, at large can mean two things. When they say someone is at large, 
as if that person is running away. Involved not only in the smuggling of gold or laundering of money, but also charging people to have access to the president is criminal. So for you to be pimping the president at two hundred thousand dollars, was the president supposed to know about that? Can someone tell me? Because had it been the person who paid you the two hundred thousand dollars to see the president, which you don't know if that would happen based on episode two not coming out yet. Would the president even know that he collected that amount of money to pimp him out to be seen by the people who want to clean money? Do you know what it means to have access to the president and you want to do something like this? And then you are talking to the number one person in the country. No wonder. As we are going to continue discussing as well, his son. <laughs> Chalu! Passion Java had to come out to make a video where he was speaking in a language I don't understand. Of course, if you speak, please, with all due respect, I speak English, Chinese, a bit of French, Russian not too good, Igbo, a fig, maybe chewy a little bit. Tell me what he was saying in this video. And he was talking about the fact that it is politically motivated based on the goal of the country and the upcoming elections. Come on. Whether there's elections or not in Zimbabwe, from the way I look at this situation right now, the country is held at siege by these people working together. It's just surprising that someone who calls himself a prophet, prophet when he comes to his miracles and media team, prophecies and all that, fulfillment. And all. I've told you guys how these things work already before now, so don't tell me you don't know about how his whole prophecy and prophecy fulfillment things work. I need to see just one scam or one staged miracle from you to decide, conclude on you. Because if you claim to be of God and you are able to stage one, for him I've not seen just one, one, two, three, four, five. Do you understand what I'm trying to say even though I'm not saying it yet already?